As gyms remain closed, some of West Michigan's most competitive gymnasts are heading to Indiana and practicing outside, but even then they say that's not enough. Angelie McCaw spoke with some athletes who worry they could miss out on college scholarships if they can't practice soon. Arms up. Turn to the side. Every athlete will tell you warm-ups are critical before training. Switch. But these gymnasts would hardly call this practice. It's really hard, mostly because um, we don't have, like, there's nowhere we can get the equipment that we need. Stephanie Lebster hasn't stepped foot inside her home gym, Champion Gymnastics USA in Holland, since March. So that's definitely the longest I've ever been out of the gym. The most before that was like a max of two weeks. With the gym closed, they're outside, only to maintain the basics. Spread out, spread out. Good. Head coach Tammy Shaftsma would usually see her elite gymnasts 20 hours a week. Compare that now with just a handful. Come out. And without equipment. It's not really an effective workout. It's more just for morale and to get the kids together and just to keep their spirits up. Tammy worries that while her athlete skills are tumbling, others in nearby states are advancing. So it's become increasingly difficult for our kids just knowing that other states and other gyms are practicing and they're falling further behind in that process. The top girls here have been traveling to Indiana where gyms are open, but just for a few hours a week and with parents supporting the decision. And it brings out my mama bear, so we'll do, we'll do what we can um, for them. Um, but it's, it's frustrating and I'm, I'm concerned because it's stressful on them. And gymnasts in Michigan have had enough stress. Stephanie's mom, Kathy, has watched her two daughters stay at home for the last four months, knowing both want to compete in college. And you know, they're sort of running out of time. So they need to they need to get in there and um, get on the equipment. They've all been trying to convince the governor's office that they can practice with precautions. Adding they would only have about 10 girls inside the building at once, unlike public gyms. We really feel like we're being put in with other businesses that don't have the safety protocol or the control that we have. So our hope is that somebody looks at our sport specifically and sees that we're able to do this safely. For the gymnasts who have spent their lifetime training, they're doing what they can. Like it's better than nothing and like that's for sure, but it's not really enough. They just hope enough can keep recruiting scouts and their dreams within reach. In Holland, Angeline McCall, Fox 17 News.